Dealing with delicate presents. Responding to unwanted gifts. Hello, dear learners. Today, we'll be diving into a unique aspect of business etiquette, responding to gifts. Specifically, we will focus on handling unwanted or inappropriate gifts. It's essential to manage such situations with grace and tact, ensuring feelings aren't hurt while still maintaining your personal and professional boundaries. Gift giving is an age-old tradition in many cultures and is seen as a gesture of goodwill, appreciation, or to celebrate special occasions. In a business context, gifts can build relationships, show gratitude, or mark achievements. However, not all gifts are created equal, and there are times when we might receive something that we find unwanted or inappropriate. It's essential to handle these situations with care. There can be many reasons why a gift might not hit the mark. 1. Cultural differences. What might be a thoughtful gift in one culture could be inappropriate in another. 2. Personal preferences. A gift might not align with your personal tastes or values. 3. Overstepping boundaries. The gift might be too personal or intimate for a professional relationship. Understanding these reasons can help in formulating a response that is respectful and considerate. 1. Express gratitude. Regardless of the gift, always thank the giver. They might have put thought into it, even if it missed the mark. Example, thank you so much for this gift. I appreciate your thoughtfulness. 2. Be honest, but gentle. If the gift is inappropriate, it might be necessary to address it directly but in a gentle manner. Example, I appreciate the gesture, but I believe this gift might not be suitable for our professional relationship. 3. Redirect the intention. If you cannot or choose not to keep the gift, suggest an alternative. Example, it's very kind of you, but I prefer not to accept gifts. Perhaps we can donate it to charity instead? 4. Discuss privately. If you need to address the issue, do it in private to avoid embarrassing the giver in front of others. 5. Consider cultural education. If inappropriate gifts are a recurring issue due to cultural misunderstandings, consider organizing or suggesting cultural sensitivity training. It might be helpful to establish a gift policy within your organization or department. This can provide guidelines on 1. The type of gifts that are acceptable. 2. The monetary value limits for gifts. 3. How to handle gifts from suppliers or clients to prevent any perceived conflicts of interest. A clear policy can prevent awkward situations before they arise. Handling unwanted or inappropriate gifts with grace and tact is an essential skill in the business world. It's all about striking a balance between appreciating the gesture and maintaining boundaries. We hope this video has given you insights and strategies for those occasionally tricky moments. Remember, it's the thought that counts, and with the right approach, you can navigate these situations smoothly. Until next time, happy learning!